James and the bootlace. Next morning, the fat controller spoke severely to James. If you can't behave, I shall take away your red coat and have you painted blue. So there. James didn't like that at all, and he was very rough with the coaches as he brought them to the platform. Oh, come along, shh, come along, shh. And the coaches grumbled, all in good time, all in good time. Oh, stop grumbling and come on. And James snorted into the station with the coaches grumbling after him. James was cross that morning. Gordon never fetches his own coaches, and he's only painted blue. Well, a splendid red engine like me should never have to fetch his own coaches. And he puffed and snorted round to the front of the train and backed onto it with a rude bump. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 mm, went the coaches. That was too bad. Mm. And no one came near James. He felt very lonely. I'll show him. I'll show him. They think Gordon is the only engine who can pull coaches. Mm. Then the guard blew his whistle. And James started off with a tremendous jerk. Come on, shh, shh, come on, shh, shh, come on, shh, 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 And off he went with the coaches squeaking and groaning. They clattered over the points and out onto the open line. Hurry, 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 shh, 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 hurry, 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 shh, 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 hurry, 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 shh. The coaches didn't like it. You're going too fast, you're going too fast, you're going too fast, you're going too fast. And indeed, the coaches were going so fast that they swayed from side to side. James laughed and tried to go faster, but the coaches wouldn't let him. We're going to stop, we're going to stop, we're going to stop, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. And they stopped. James was very worried. He said to his driver, What's the matter? What's the matter? Huh. You might as well ask. The brakes are hard on. There's a leak in the pipe, most likely. You've banged the coaches enough to make a leak in anything. The guard and the driver got down and looked at the brake pipes all along the train. At last, they found a hole where the rough treatment had made a joint work loose. The guard said, Hmm, well, how shall we mend it? James's driver thought for a moment. Well, we'll do it with newspapers and a leather bootlace. Ah, where's the bootlace coming from? We haven't got one. Well, we'll ask the passengers. So the guard made everyone get out. Um, has anyone got a leather bootlace, please? But they all said, no. 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 Oh, no. No. Except one man in a bowler hat called Jeremiah Jobling, who tried to hide his feet. The guard said, um, You have a leather boot lace there, I see, sir. Please give it to me. And Jeremiah Jobling said, um, No, I won't. Well, then I'm afraid, sir, I'm very much afraid that this train will have to stop where it is and it'll be all your fault. Then the passengers all told Jeremiah Jobling what a mean man he was, and at last he gave them his laces.
The driver tied a pad of newspapers tightly around the hole, and James was able to pull the train very gently. But he was a sadder and wiser James, and he took care never to bump coaches again.